see here Peter the rabbit in the background um, and I look like a mess because it's the end of the day but anyway so I had a hard disk it was a I'm gonna show you in a second transcend hard disk I think of one terabyte and I dropped it and um, the computer wouldn't recognize it anymore got it completely like pulled apart by someone who knows what he was doing but I couldn't get it back to work anymore so um, I actually lost some edited files I didn't lose the photo sessions because I had them backed up already but I was working on that hard disk so I was editing photos on that hard disk uploading them to pixie set clients pick their photos but I couldn't access the edited photos anymore so I had to go back to pixie set see which photos made it to the selection re-edit them and then send them to the customer it took forever so I got a new hard disk and someone recommended me to get a SSD drive because nothing is moving inside like nothing is turning so if you drop it it's not the end of the world well hello I'm going to test this one for the coming weeks and see um, how good it is so yeah this is uh, quite expensive um, but they say that you can drop it shock resistant structure which stands falls from up to two meters I don't know if it's like dust proof and like waterproof but yeah I usually edit inside I do bring the hard disks with me sometimes to the studio um, so yeah I'm just gonna open the box for you and show you what's inside now they're watching Sesame Street so if you hear Elmo in the back yeah makes sense so this is what's inside oh it's tiny it's a lot smaller than my normal um, hard drive which I guess makes sense because nothing needs to move so there's no space for that so yeah this is what it's called a portable SSD T5 T5 from Samsung um, there was another brand that was almost the same price I think it was like uh, around 170 180 euros it's only one terabyte because if you go for two terabytes it's way more expensive it's like 350 euros something like that um, and this is my working disc so this is what I'll bring with me to the studio and then as soon as I finish shoots I pick them up on another hard disc which has four terabytes okay so I quickly picked up the one that um, is broken it's from transcend um, yeah, it was also one terabyte and it's just not being recognized by the computer anymore. But now you see, okay, everything is falling apart. The comparison in size. So that's great. So um, I have cables here. They say it's plug and play. So you plug it in. I have a MacBook Pro. Uh, so I'm just gonna plug it in there and hopefully it works. And then this will be my working drive and then I have like a Porsche hard drive of four terabytes um, which I'm going to show in a second as my backup drive and um, then I only save the edited files and not the unedited files because I still have them from when I started like six years ago um, and it's okay I have several um, good hard disks but yeah so this is going to be my working drive from now on so yeah, here are some of the other discs I'm working on. La C. So yeah, nothing in this video is sponsored. I don't have anything against Transcend, the one that broke. Um, would be cool if uh, Samsung would uh, sponsor me with cool new products and I can test them out for you. But it's not the case. But my, what, with my own money. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I plugged it in and it's uh, visible. So I can, I think, start um, putting stuff on there. Okay, so as I'm waiting for my new work clients to arrive, I thought I'd give a little review on the SSD um, disk that I have to save my files on. Uh, I can be pretty short about it. I love it. I love that it is fast. It is very small. It does not get warm. Uh, nothing is like moving inside so it's less likely to break and crash and lose all my files I love that feeling I wish I could store all my files on these types of drives um, but they're pretty expensive still so I have regular um, external hard disks uh, that I store my files on but then the files I'm actually still working on so 
uh, I take them with me to my studio. I have them, you know, when I'm sitting on the couch at night watching Netflix with my Mac, like Mac, I have a MacBook Pro with a Retina screen. I have it on my lap. I'm just working. I use this new SSD drive um, and I'm just working on the shoots. And then after I finish editing a shoot, I make a backup onto my other, like real, normal, regular hard disk, if that makes sense. Um, so it's like my working disk. All the shoots I'm still working on are on my new SSD drive. And the ones that I finished working on, I will backup on my regular hard disks and then uh, store them there. And then I can take them off the SSD drive uh, because it's only limited in storage. I think my clients are here.
subscribe and leave a comment. What do you use for storage to use? Just let me know in the comments. And then you'll see me in my next video.